In this video, I would like to walk you through the main feature of EntOpenG community. We are going to see the main information that we can get and how we can use it to create and send alarms to the outside. This is the main EntOpenG dashboard. From this dashboard, we can immediately have an idea of who are the top sources and the top destinations of the traffic. We can also drill down you and look at the active hosts, that is, the hosts that are currently generating traffic. We can also look at ports and even at layer 7 application protocols. For example, here we can see that part of our applications involve Ubuntu One and another 26% involves HTTP and so on. We can have a look at all the active communications, that is the traffic that is taking place right now into our host, specifically into the monitored network interface. For all the network flows, we have the application, that is the layer 7 application, we have the protocol, the client and the server, including their IP addresses as well as the port. We also know the duration of the flow, the breakdown, throughput, and many other information. We have a drill down menu here that we can use to filter flows depending on their status, on their security indicators, on the severity of their issues, on the application protocol, and so on. We can also have a look at the active hosts, that is the hosts that are currently generating traffic. We can just click on hosts, and have an immediate overview of all the active hosts in the network. We can sort them according to the throughput or to the total byte sent or many, many other metrics that include network metrics and security metrics such as the indicator of compromise known as SCORE. So this is basically what you can get in terms of flows and hosts. There are other ways to look at the traffic. These, these ways include the visibility of MAC addresses, including device type, manufacturer, MAC address. We can also have a look at the autonomous systems, at the countries, an operating system, and many other methods. If we want to access the historical chart, we can look for this symbol that is available for the interface, it's also available for hosts, and it gives us an historical view, an historical overview of the network activities for this particular interface, but also for a particular host because also hosts have this symbol and we can look at the host traffic in time. Let's have a look now at the detected alerts, that is alerts that are found by EntOpenG. Alerts are divided into past alerts and flow alerts when they involve alerts of flows and there are also engaged alerts, that is alerts that are representing an ongoing issue. Alerts are configurable from settings, user scripts, for hosts, interfaces, local networks, SNMP devices, flows, and so on. If you click on flows, for example, you have all the possible alerts that can be configured, disabled, enabled, and so on. So these alerts, by default, end up 
in this and OpenG page. But there is another interesting thing that we can do with others. That is, we can send them to third-party downstream recipient. It's pretty easy to do this. We can just visit the system interface, hit notification and endpoint. For the endpoint, we can configure Discord, email, a shell script, a Slack channel, syslog, a Telegram channel, a webhook, and also Elasticsearch. So configuring this and configuring a recipient allows us to deliver the alerts towards external recipient. That is, the alerts that we can look here can be delivered to the outside to the configured recipients. So this for what it concern the alerts. All right. It is worth mentioning that in OpenG it is not only a passive monitoring tool because in OpenG is actually an active monitoring tool. That is, we can configure it to ping hosts. Toast a quel cliente dell'email. No, questo va tagliato. It is worth mentioning that OpenG is not only a passive monitoring tool, it is also an active monitoring tool. That is, we can configure it to periodically ping hosts and services. Indeed, in terms of ping, we have the ICMP, but we can also configure HTTP, HTTPS, continuous ICMP, and an, a series of other methods. For example, we can configure an host here with periodicity every minute and we can ask in OpenG to generate an alarm, let's say, if the round trip time of this ping is above, let's say, 200 milliseconds. We can just add it and we can add many, many more metrics. We can do an HTTPS ping, same 250 milliseconds and so on. HTTPS. All right. So this is going to periodically and systematically monitor all these active hosts and services and create alarms every time the threshold is exceeded or the host is unreachable. In terms of uh, user interface, it is worth mentioning that we have a top status bar that highlights the important information that are per interface. We have the number of active flows, the number of active devices, that is MAC addresses, hosts divided in local hosts with the red, with a green badge, and remote hosts with the gray badge and the flows with issues. For example, here we have a couple of MDNS flows that uh, contain malformed packets. So OpenG notifies us about the malformed packets. Note that OpenG is multi-tenant so you can have multiple users and you can create multiple users with or without administrative privileges so for example i can create a user like simone with 
a non-privileged user actually I can just hit add new user so as a non-admin user Simone won't be able to change and open G preferences won't be able to do privileged activities but just to look at the traffic you can create multiple users and also decide the allowed interface for a particular user this means that I could have chosen EN01 for Simone to only to restrict Simone to have only access to interface N01 monitored traffic so this concludes this very very brief overview of the EntopNG community remember that there are much more interesting features that you can try and experiment you can drill down get information and details on the flows get geomaps get historical traffic create and extend and open G with user script it's a very 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 rich set of additional features but this video wanted only to introduce you to what is an open G and the information that you can get Please join our community channels, browse the online documentation if you want if you want to know more and yes, feel free to contact us if you want to try, if you have questions and if you want to know more.